Here's a uh, tune that I usually play on guitar that I'm going to play on the banjo. It's called Mole's Moan. It's an open G. And uh, I'm going to play it, and then we'll talk about it a little bit, okay? Okay, so there's three basic parts, and here's the basic pick. So I start out like this. Let me get close so you can see what the heck's going on. I'm pinching the second and the fourth. And it's fifth and first. Second and fourth, first, I mean fifth first, then fourth, second, fifth. Okay, <clears throat> so there's a little intro, which goes like this, which, so what am I doing? I'm playing the low D string, hammering it on, second fret, and then playing the open G. This guy. And then I play that pick on the G. Actually, I go G to C, my, my bad. I'll get a tab together for this, so if you want it, you can uh, contact me to get the tab. So here's the first section. You're on the second and fourth string for all of these. It's twelfth and twelfth. And then into the tenth and tenth. Then eight and nine. Seven and seven. Five and five. Three and four, one and two, and then open. All of those again are on the fourth and the second. So one more time. Twelve and twelve, ten and ten, eight and nine, seven and seven, 
five and five, three and four, four, two and one, and then open. And I do that with this pick that I showed you earlier. So, sorry. twice. And the second section uses almost all of those, but not quite. And it's also a slightly different rhythm. So it goes 12 and 12, to 10 and 10, to 8 and 9, then skip the 7th and go right to the 5th, 3 and 4, and two, open. And what I'm doing for a rhythm is I'm going, I'm playing those two and then playing the fifth. Get around so you can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so that's fourth and second, pinched, and then I'm on the fifth. And the rhythm goes like this. Two, three, four. do is I'll play that first rhythm, but I'll split it. In other words, I'll change in the middle of it. It's a little daunting if you don't know what the heck's going on there, but basically the right hand stays the same. So when your thumb comes back to that fourth string, you shift to the new position. So that's part two. The end of part two is a little turnaround, which I go. What's that? I'm hammering on to first fret on the second string, second fret on the fourth string. And I play that whole pattern see everything the next so goddamn long here pardon my French Let's try this way and then I play an, a D just open D note and then I slide two to four up here on the G string open D and then back to the pick. Right, part three goes like this. You get harmonics on the 12th fret of the middle two. And again, this, the pick is now changed to... What am I doing? I'm doing the middle two as a pinch. fret, get the harmonic, then I go to the tenth fret on the first two strings, and then the twelfth fret on the first two strings, right to the tenth fret. Part 
too. Okay, so that's a general outline. I know there's a lot more to it that I didn't cover, but uh, if you if you if you a decent banjo player, you'll be able to figure this out. Uh, if not, well, keep working, and I think you'll get it. All right. Bye.